I want to welcome everyone to the 10th anniversary of NIREX founding at our Emerging Leaders and Markets Conference. This is a phenomenal event where we're going to address a lot of the issues that we face in the minority business community, including access to capital, fair allocation of economic opportunity, and growing our businesses. I'm always going to surround myself with folks who know way more than me, and I'm learning every day, and I stay hungry and humble. Everything I touched has got to be some educational component. It doesn't make sense if we're not lifting as we climb. Typically, people do business with three types of people. People they know, people they like, people they trust. Politics is very important, and, and going with what the leadership wants for their community is super important. Don't try to go against the grain because you'll never get it moved. The stakes have never been higher, but at the same time, we've never had an amazing as opportunity as we have now. To have the alignment of the leading Democratic congressmen in the country, along with the support of the governor and, of course, the support of our mayor, to further our agenda and our aspirations is unprecedented. So for no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Governor Kathy Hochul. So it's no surprise that real estate industry, the development world, lack diversity. Let's just call it right out. Uh, the gathering here in this room is not reflective of the masses outside these doors. But that doesn't have to be a permanent state of affairs. If you call out a problem, you work toward a solution, and that's when you get the change that's needed. There was always an economic empowerment component to what our leaders, our civil rights leaders, were fighting for. And that's a struggle that has to continue to this very day. Um, and all of you represent incredible progress in that regard, incredible excellence uh, in fighting through the barriers that have been erected and continue to exist. Good morning. Understand what impacts upon your business. Understand what's about to destroy you. Understand what's taking out small business. Understand what impacts upon black and brown communities. Stand up and fight. They say that successes have a thousand fathers. And we can say that NIREC has a thousand fathers. And I want to take some time out to shout out the founding members of this organization. And we're going to acknowledge them today. The mayor has made it clear that not less than $25 billion will be awarded to minority women-owned firms by 2026 and $60 billion by the year 2030, with a priority with Black, Hispanic, and Asian American women businesses. That's the priority. The mayor's made it clear. <laughs> 